Hey guys, Funk Roberts here from FunkMMA.com, Over40Alpha.com, and FunkRobertsFitness.com. And today, I'm excited to bring you a six pack ab workout, or at least a six minute ab and core circuit that you can use anywhere, anytime, because we're just using our body weight. Um, now with this workout, we're using six exercises. We're doing them in a circuit training style. So we're gonna do 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds rest, one after the other. And this is a follow along, so I want you to join me in this workout and I'm going to explain how each of these exercises will target different parts of your abs. You know, we're gonna go upper, lower, rectus abdominis, transverse, obliques, and the core. So this is a perfect short workout, but it's gonna hit the entire ab and core region, all right? So let's start with our first exercise, which are slight crunches. Now this is more of a beginner ab circuit. I mean, anyone can do this, doesn't matter what level you're at, but this would be more of a beginner. So if you haven't worked the abs in a long time, or you haven't worked them at all, or you're just getting back to the gym, you're just kind of getting back into it, this is a perfect set of six exercises, hitting the entire region that's gonna help you and just kind of kickstart your ab training, right? So 40 seconds of work, we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, here we go, slight crunches. Okay, so with the slight crunches, first we're just bringing our shoulders off the ground. Now we're working the upper abs here. So in order for you really to feel those upper abs doing the work, you really need to ensure that the small of your back, right below here, is right touching the ground the entire time. Okay, so a little bit of a pelvic tilt. Good. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Hold it for a second. So we're not going too far up. It's just a slight crunch. It's like a McGill crunch. Stuart McGill, Dr. Stuart McGill. We wanna save our neck here, so we don't wanna be pulling. We just want our head up. Exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down, perfect. Okay, next exercise, we're hitting the lower abs with reverse crunches, but it's very important that we do these the right way. We don't want to use the hip flexors. We wanna really make sure our lower ab is doing the work. So, once again, we wanna do a pelvic tilt before we start, which you can see the lower part of my butt, everything, my back is on the ground. We're gonna start here, and then we're just gonna roll up. Good, but making sure the lower small part of your back, the, your pelvic, your, uh, you have that tilt going the whole time. And then you'll feel this in the lower abs doing the work. Control your, uh, your legs on the way down. Don't let them fall. Good. You can really feel it when you keep that lower part of your abs to the ground. Or sorry, lower part of your back on the ground. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Trying to bring the belly button right toward your chest. Good, wow, it's tough. All right, next up we're hitting tire region here with flutter kicks, lying flutter kicks. So like I said before, this is more of a beginner, but it's really important that, you know, we're getting, the, the, we're really feeling the, ab and, the abs doing the work here when we're running the exercise. Here we go with flutter kicks. Once again, with flutter kicks, you wanna make sure the smaller your back, so you gotta do a little bit of a tilt, is on the ground. Feeling this in the entire ab region, actually. Keep those toes pointed. Good. Keep your head off the ground. Remember, keep the small of your back right plastered on the ground. Keep going. Oh, oh. You can feel that right in your abs right now. Oh. That was rough. All right, we're moving to obliques now. I can feel that already, big time. So again, when, you're, when you, you wanna keep the lower part of your back right plastered against the ground, that's gonna really focus on the abs doing the work, whether it's upper, or lower, or your entire abs, really feeling it. Okay, Russian twist, side to side. This is a good rotational movement. Also hits the obliques. I'm doing it with my feet off the ground, but as I get tired, I still wanna keep moving so I can put my feet on the ground. Good. Rotate, try to get the back part of your hand touching the ground. Oh, ah. definitely feeling this. Let's push, push through. Head up, breathing. Keep going guys, keep going. Oh, good work, good work, okay. Back to the ground, 
we're doing ab bicycles. Okay, so same thing as before, when you're doing these ab exercises, do not let, don't, try not to have that arc in your back, okay? That, that, that will force the hip flexors to do most of the work, which we do not want. So if you've done ab exercises and you find we're doing knees to opposite elbow, you find that your hips hurt, that means your hip flexors are doing most of the work, which is not what we want. Let's go rotate. So now we're still rotating, but we're kicking straight out. Good. Kick, kick, exhale, exhale, rotate, rotate. Keep the lower part of the back on the ground. See that if you have to rest, you try to rest for just a couple of seconds and then keep going. Good. All right, one last exercise. That is the half windshield wipers. So again, I'm gonna kind of do it this way. So once again, the tilt is very important. Getting the small of your back. See my entire back's on the ground. That's very important while we're doing this exercise. So these are called windshield wipers. So you wanna to go to the side, back up. You wanna go a little bit slower here. Back up. You want it, your knees at a 90 degree angle, but do not let the legs touch the ground. So force those your core to get tight. Force those obliques to do the work. Good. Got to drop down. Exhale the way up. Good. Control the abs. Control the legs going down. Don't just let them fall. Control them down. Pull them back up. Control them down. Pull them back up. Good. All the way down. Back up. Good work, guys. Good work. There you have it. Grab this here. So there you have it, a six minute ab workout. Wow, that's, you definitely feel it in the abs um, and in the core. And once again, some of those cues that I was saying that are really, really important is making sure that you have a little bit of a hip flex right here, right? The tilt, pelvic tilt, when you're doing these exercises so your back is flat against the ground. Once you find that your back's flat against the ground, then when you're doing the exercises, the actual part of the abs that should be doing the work will really get more focused um, and you'll feel it a lot more sooner and you won't feel it as much in the hip flexors that happens sometimes when we do these exercises. So there you go guys, six minutes, it's short, um, it's effective and if you did it right, like if you really focus on mind muscle connection, making sure that the, the ab uh, you know, region or the ab muscle was working when you're doing the exercise, then you only need to do it once, like my abs are pretty shot right now. I only need to do that one time, uh, rest and maybe do it again or do a different version of that tomorrow and so on and so forth. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed.